Born and raised in uh, Dormont. I was born and raised in Green Tree. We both went to high school together in Dormont. And I understand that Dormont High School doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> but uh, you know, when, uh, when we left, uh, when we'd go to grade school and uh, we went to high school in Dormont, we'd go to Dormont and they would tell us, oh, you are a bunch of farmers, you're from Green Tree. But you know, looking at Green Tree today, it doesn't look like farm territory to me anymore. But anyway, she's glad to be here with us tonight. <laughs> And it looks to me like, uh, this sounds like more fun than studying anyway, so. <laughs> but let's hope uh, something worthwhile comes, comes of all this. Because uh, a year ago, I wasn't so sure what I wanted to do with the rest of my life. And I wasn't sure whether I wanted to take on a campaign. Matter of fact, I was very reluctant to do what I have done in the past year. But my reluctance was ill-founded because uh, in this past year, I have discovered a lot of people who care a whole lot about this country. So it's been uh, a real boost for me and hopefully for others that so many people have come together. We talk about the positive things that many, many people who have officially joined the campaign uh, with sending money and volunteering, and there's uh, close to a half a million people who have done that. But we have go, we've got well over 800, close to 900,000 votes, which is no laughing matter. But the whole thing is, is that I still meet a lot of people across the country, wherever I go, who may have been very sympathetic, but not necessarily voting in the Republican primary. So I think what has happened in this campaign, the uh, appearance of its uh, success is way above, the, the success of the campaign is way above the total number of votes we're getting. I think what's happening in this country is very, very big, and there is a demand for personal liberty and the rule of law and our Constitution. 